Guys, today we will review the most interesting machine. It's USSR military ammo tactical vehicle. It's really powerful and impressive machine, but it was written off and was ready to be utilized. But we decided to save this vehicle and bought it. And today we will try to find out what we actually bought. Hi guys, as usually it's me, just an off-screen voice and you're watching Review Machines. Well, first of all, let's clear it up why a military tactical vehicle can be bought by any civilian. As it was produced in 1984, it's too out of date now to be used in any military forces. So there were only two variants. Either utilize the vehicle or try to sell it. In fact, most such machines can't be sold and go straight to remelting. That is why prices for such machines are not very high. We bought it for less than $10,000. You may say that it's rather big money, but remember the price of any decent quant nowadays, for example. It's much higher than 10,000. And I should say, this vehicle is far from being a quad. It's a real military ammo tactical ATV, and we were so greatly impressed riding this machine, but about that a bit later. Now I should say that you see the real military machine without any modification. New owner wanted to keep all the original parts. Of course it was demilitarized. There are no any weapon, but all the other tactical equipment still on board. If necessary, it's possible to get all the documents to officially register the vehicle and drive it legally even in towns. By the way, the machine is almost like new. When it was bought, the mileage was less than 1000 km, though the year of production is 1994, and all the times in that year the vehicle had been kept in preservation. The only thing that was dismantled here is a cannon, but we still have a real armor and even a turning turret, and all the turning gears still perfectly work. Well, first of all, let's see what's inside. The only way to get in are two hatches on the top of the vehicle. There are no any doors, so you may forget about any comfort at all. The interior is designed for four people. At the front there are two seats for a driver and commander. At the rear is a seat for a gunner and for a scout. The engine is mounted in the rear part of the vehicle. The first thing that you notice getting inside is the numerous handles, buttons, gauges and lights. All this stuff may confuse you, but after a little time of practice you will find out that it's not very hard thing to drive this car. If you can drive any four-wheel drive vehicle, you will get the hang of driving this car very soon. By the way, at the left we see a panel to control a tire inflation. It's a vital function for military ATV. Then you have an access to the all main parts of the construction being inside the body. A transfer case, gearbox and engine can be maintained from inside. It's also a vital feature for a military ATV, cause you may repair most parts right in the battle and sometimes even without stopping the machine. By the way, this machine has another very interesting feature. Do you think it's 4-wheel drive vehicle? Not at all, it's 8-wheel drive. There are 4 additional wheels hidden behind the armor, and you can engage them at any moment in the most complicated conditions. These 4 wheels are moved up and down by a hydraulic gear. With the help of these wheels, our vehicle can overcome trenches, ditches and other holes in the ground. Moreover, each wheel is driven by a chain. Although there is no any tire tread, but anyway, these additional views can greatly improve off-roading capabilities of the machine. Then, as I've already mentioned, there is a central system of tire inflation. The complete process of pumping tires takes about 5 minutes. The turning turret of a gunner still perfectly works. 
it can turn in any direction and even targeting system is still there. I think it needless to say that a cannon was dismantled. But it's possible to install a model of a cannon and the vehicle will look completely ready for the battle. Also, the rear part of the body is equipped with a special system that controls the temperature of the engine. From behind there is a water jet engine that moves the vehicle on water. It can accelerate it up to 8 miles per hour and also there are special rudders to maneuver on water. And this thing is mounted here especially in case of zombie apocalypse. This ram can cut the way through a mob of zombies. Well, seriously speaking, it's a breakwater to protect open hatches when the vehicle is going on water. And there are special armored plates to protect windows from bullets. rather interesting, so it's worth saying a few words about it. It's Petro V-Type 8 cylinders engine 140 horsepower. It's huge but not very powerful and that was done on purpose to make it the most reliable and to get the maximum working lifetime. Well guys, let's try to start the engine. Yes, it works. And the most surprising was the fact that the engine started even after 20 years being in preservation. Of course, then the vehicle was thoroughly serviced to prepare the machine for everyday use. All the fuels, oils and grease were changed. Most rubber gaskets also were changed. The carburetor was repaired, many gears were maintained and so on. But now the vehicle is almost like new and it's ready to make distant trips. to say a few words about our first impressions of the machine on off-road. As you can see, it's easily go on a snowy field. The wheels can pierce through snow and get a good traction because of the huge weight of the vehicle. Full 8-wheel drive, central system of tire inflation, all possible locks, all these features make of the vehicle a decent ATV. The only drawback, again, is a huge weight, but there is a mechanical winch driven by the engine for the most complicated cases. It was rather interesting to be inside where the machine was moving. I felt as if I had been completely separated from the outside world by a heavy armor. So when you drive this ATV you absolutely don't care what is happening outside. The field of the view is very poor. There are only two little windows and several loopholes. So it will be very hard thing to drive this vehicle through a city. And it's better for a driver and passenger to wear helmets. Cause there are many metal objects around heads and it's very easy to hurt oneself when going off-road. mentioning that the machine is a real fuel eater. At the time when it was constructed, the creators absolutely didn't care about the fuel consumption. It takes about 40 liters for 100 kilometers. But mind, it's the result for moving on a highway. If you go off-road, you'd better don't even think about the fuel consumption. For example, we burnt about 20 liters of petrol just for few rides on the field. By the way, total fuel capacity is 280 liters and it provides a range 750 kilometers. As to the maximum speed, it's quite decent, 100 km per hour. The vehicle is equipped with a power steering, so it's not very tough thing to drive it. But you should maintain it very carefully, cause if power steering gets out of order, it's completely unreal to drive the vehicle. Also, I should say about another feature of the vehicle. If you own such a machine, be ready for a general attention wherever you go. It attracts numerous size, everybody wants to ask you numerous questions. Everywhere you will be asked to take numerous selfies and so on. That's why there is even a business based on such vehicles. 
they can be hired out for some kind of off-road adventures. And by the way, such businesses do quite well. Also, it's important that this ATV can be officially registered, and it's possible to drive it even in a city quite legally. Guys, to sum up our review, I want to say that it's a really impressive machine, taking into account that its price is less than $10,000. Of course, it has many drawbacks. It's very glutinous, so heavy, and not very comfortable, quite noisy, and so on. But on the other hand, it's a real military armored vehicle, and you can quite legally own it. Let it stay somewhere in the backyard. Who knows? It can turn out to be so relevant in case of zombie apocalypse. Thanks for watching guys, please consider subscribing the channel if you liked this video. It will be many more interesting materials here, goodbye.